Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to apply XPath assertion. So as of now, we have a, a test plan inside the test plan, a thread group, and we are hitting a SOAP service. We have four steps, but as of now, I had disabled three steps. I'm working on a one step, which is add functionality. So first of all, I just want to clear previous result and want to show you this functionality is working fine. And that's my request and here's the response. Now this response is coming, displaying in the form of string. I want to convert or I want to make it in the XML format. So I copy this and we have a site that is www.webtoolkitonline.com. So here we can convert XML content into proper format. So here we are getting proper format. So now I want to apply XPath assertion. So I want to validate like every time we should get response and my response result should come on this add result tag. So we can validate tag as well as response data so i'm coming to my jmeter and now here i'm adding assertion which is xpath assertion here we need to write xpath hope you have seen the video of xpath that we have added at the end of this course so if you don't have the knowledge of xpath it's highly recommendable that you go to the video and got some bits, basic understanding of the XPath. So I'm starting the XPath with double slash. And now if you talk about XML, so in response XML, we are getting add response and the child of that response is add result. So moving to the J meter and here, add response add result just to validate this like this it shows a valid xpath expression so the expression that you have i have written it's a valid i just cleared the previous result running it let's see what is the result and it shows like everything is fine till now as of now, I have just made an assertion. We are not validating anything. So to validate, I am just saying equal and the data should be ABC. I'm as of now just giving the as of now I'm just giving the dump data. Validate it shows valid exp valid XPath expression. And coming to my results, so clearing previous result, running it, and it's getting failed. Why it's getting failed? XPath assertion is failed, so it's not matching. Because we are expecting ABC, and on that place, we are not getting ABC. I'm going to the assertion again, and in response, we are getting, I think, 300. So let me check it again response of this add functionality we are getting 300 i want to validate that response should be 300 so i'm coming to the xpath assertion again and here i'm validating with the 300 again need to check it's a validate yes it's a valid xpath expression clearing previous result running it again and here you can see my XPath assertion is getting passed because the red result which is given by this XPath assertion is 300. So here you seen we have validated data which is coming from the server. So we have seen one way to write XPath like here we can see this seems to be quite common inside the soap body we are getting this so soap body is also common in the all soap responses in all soap responses 
so i can assume like my actual xml is going to start from here so that is the one way we have seen like we are moving to the add response and then add result so other way of writing x path is like we can directly validate because this add result is only display one time in this response so i can mention like this and validate coming perfect clearing previous result running it again so again it's getting passed means i'm directly going to add result that's my tag and we are able to fetch the data we are expecting the value of this should be 300 and we are validating it's a 300 one more thing that need to be noticed here in this x path assertion to compare values we are using single equal to so in most of the programming language when you work and you want to compare the data you are using double equal to but here we have single equal to validate in some places you will find out you will get this kind of text as well so i am adding the text running it again and here we see it's getting passed so means if you want to pick the data of that tag either you can use text so if you want to get the data of the tag either you can use text or if you don't use it by default it understand that you are picking text from there so that's all we have for this session so in this session we have covered how we can validate the response which is coming from the server by using xpath assertion so that's all we have for this session thanks for watching this video